Tea's Take, Season 2, Episode 1. What is your take on the pressure of women taking drastic measures to meet society's beauty standards? So there's two things going on. First is the societal pressure, and that's what society holds up as beautiful. And then there's the pressure we put on ourselves. So I'm going to deal with them separately. Societal pressure. I wouldn't be doing anything to uphold what society thinks is beautiful because traditionally we all know what society's image of beauty is. It's only now come into play that the features that black women have always had is now the desired look. Now it's trendy to have a big butt. It's trendy to have fuller lips. It's trendy to have thick hips. That's new. We know that it hasn't traditionally been that way. Which brings us to number two, the pressure we put on ourselves. We as women put so much pressure on ourselves to be things that we're not to please people who don't really matter at the end of the day. Cosmetic surgery, any kind of enhancement that a woman chooses to perform on herself it's fine if she's doing it for the right reasons. I think that if you are unhappy with any part of your body and you feel like it can be enhanced and that enhancement would make you as a person feel better, help you to embrace yourself in a better way, help you in your opinion to look better, that's fine. Do what you want. Live your life. I think we run into a problem when we start doing it because other people want us to do it. When we start making external changes that could be not only detrimental but life-threatening. As women, we all have insecurities. We all have something about our bodies that we don't like. Even if you ask women with what is considered the ideal body type, they're going to have a complaint about something or another. That is just the nature of being a woman. If in that vein, you choose to make changes, enhance, decrease, increase, whatever you choose to do as a woman, that's your prerogative as long as you're doing it from that perspective. I think we get into a really dangerous place when we're doing it to please this one, please that one, to please everyone else but ourselves because the reality is society will never be happy with who you are and the person you're with may not never be happy with who you are if you weren't what they wanted from the gate so you have to make sure that when you're making changes you're doing it because it's something that you want to do don't be pressured into making a change don't be bullied into making a change and certainly don't look at tv thinking this is what i need to be doing because for a lot of my sisters we have jumped far out into the lake with making enhancements to ourselves to a point where a lot of us don't even look like ourselves. And I think that's the danger zone. I think cosmetic surgery, makeup, all of that is meant to enhance your natural beauty. And we're all beautiful. There's, there is beautiful things and beautiful features about each one of us. As a woman, you just have to find your stride and find out what your thing is, which one of your features is your it feature. And you play that up. I think that when we start to go a little far down the surgery road, it leads us to a dangerous place. And nobody wants to end up looking like someone other than themselves because that breeds a whole nother level of insecurity. So in short, I think that if you are making change for yourself, no matter what it is, it's always good. But I think that as a woman, don't feel pressured or into doing something that you don't really want to do. And that's ultimately not going to make you happy. So what we have to understand and realize is we have beauty within us. We are bomb as we are. If we choose to make change, great. If we choose not to make change and we choose to just love ourselves for who we are and not do anything, that's even better. At the end of the day, the whole point is just to get to a place where you love you, period.